Abhishek and uh, I will teach you biology and from biology you will discuss about the NCRT syllabus and first that is unit 1 known as diversity in living world. This unit basically consists of four chapters. Chapter 1 the living world, second chapter as a biological classification, third chapter kingdom planting and fourth chapter kingdom animalia. All these we will discuss in uh, step by step. So first we will discuss about the what is the meaning of diversity in living world. I have already written here diversity in living world. In living world is known as bio and diversity basically known as variation in living organism. So we know that on the earth surface so earth typically we can consider here as a earth uh, this earth surface basically consists of different continents and you know that in different continents presence and occurrence of uh, different living organisms so on the basis of or on the basis of climatic condition temperate climatic condition tropical climatic condition subtropical climatic condition so if that condition is present cold climatic condition temperate climatic condition where presence of different living organisms so in cold climatic condition presence of uh, conifer plants so araucaria plants we can also see that maximum christmas trees were present or occurred in cold climatic condition where snow is present in animals also we can also see that diversity is present so polar bear is present in cold climatic condition penguins are present in cold climatic condition so depend upon climatic condition we can also see that their presence is there so cold climatic condition so if we will come towards the uh, tropical climatic condition like hot climatic condition in desert you can also see that in desert uh, like in India, Rajasthan, so their presence of camel, animal camel is there. So very less amount of water is there and presence and occurrence of zero fighting plants like cactus. Correct? Cactus plant were growing in hot climatic condition. Uh, presence of animals like camel, rattlesnake, there is the scorpion, all these animals were basically present or occurred in hot climatic condition. Uh, in India, basically like in Maharashtra, in western part of Maharashtra, there is a climatic condition of hot and humid. So in that hot and humid climatic condition, presence of many diversity, variation among living organisms. So variation is the form of the occur on the basis of climate, on the basis of region, you can also see that biodiversity will be formed or occur. So that is regarding the unit introduction. Now we come towards the chapter 1 that is known as the living world. So if we have to study the living world, first we should know that what is living and what is non-living or what is difference in between a living organism and what is difference in between non-living organism. So simply we can differentiate in between the living and non-living by giving few definitive properties. I am saying that I will write only few properties that is definitive properties. So which one is living? How you can identify? Yes, this thing is living and this thing is non-living. Like I am saying the board which is non-living, uh, this chalk which is a non-living, uh, this mic which is a non-living. Uh, but I am a living thing like how we can differentiate this is a living or this is non living by few properties, few definitive properties and these properties are first I will write here cellular structure so all the living organism basically consists of or occurrence of a cellular structure every living organism has having a cell non-living organism so no cells were present so instead of writing no cell I will mention here as terminological word that is a cellular structure so cells were upside there a cellular structure is there uh, living 
is having prokaryotic cell or eukaryotic cell. There are two types of cells. Like in kingdom Monera, we can observe see that like archibacteria, eubacteria, cytobacteria, they were having prokaryotic uh, cells. But in algae, fungi, uh, like plantae, animalia, they were consist of eukaryotic cells. But cells are present in living organism, but non-living. Not made up of cell, it is made up of, you know that what it is made up of. Uh, second, now we will mention the different properties. Second one properties uh, indicate color, show color, living key, definitive property how indicate color, show color. So second property of living key is uh, all living organism is having a morphous, morphous structure. So what is mean by morphous? So morphous means having definite structure. So like this is a living body, like a human being. It is having a head, two hands, two legs. So every human being is having that uh, normal human being consists of all these things and that will indicate as a proper structure. Behavior is there. Proper structure is there. That is morphous. And non-living things were always amorphous. So that amorphous word indicates indefinite shape. If you consider different stones, so they were having never the same exact size and shape. So why they were not having same exact size and shape? Because of it is a non-living thing and non-living things were amorphous, not having a definite shape or structure. Uh, third, I will mention here the definitive property of living that all living organisms were undergo for metabolic, metabolic activity. What is mean by metabolic activity? First you should know that. So some of all reactions which is takes place in living organism is known as metabolic activity. So in our body like we know that uh, different activities were takes place like respiration that is activity which takes place by human beings. Plant also perform photosynthesis, respiration that is a metabolic activity like anabolism and catabolism. That were due by living organism. Non living things, no metabolic activity. No metabolic activity is present or occurred in non living organism. Kuch respiration was not in the Next, definitive property of living. So, all living organisms were having ability to respond. Response to stimuli. So I will mention here response to stimuli. Jaise ki hume pata hai on the basis of climatic condition, cold climatic condition, hot climatic condition, our behavior is changed, our uh, wear clothes were changed, and that is only because of that response to environmental condition. So we response to stimuli. Like I will mean, So immediately we know that something is happened to us. Mosquito bites immediately we respond to that, so that indicates as a response to stimuli. But the non living things were showing poor property, which form indicator as a no response to stimuli. So, always one thing remember that whatever comes yes here, that will come in no in non living. So, no response to stimuli, no response to stimuli in non-living organisms. Okay. Next. Next property of living. Only I will mention here definitive property. So next property of living is growth. And that growth I will mention here only intrinsic growth. So intrinsic growth is expressing a living organism. What is meant by intrinsic growth? Growth is carried out to take place from inside. So from inside whatever growth is takes place that will indicate as an intrinsic growth. Or here, in non-living thing, extrinsic growth, extrinsic growth. So what do you mean by extrinsic growth? So growth is takes place by external deposition. When a growth is carried out to take place by external deposition of matter, if we have a sand, mould, which is all sand, growth, continuous increment, but that is known as extrinsic growth takes place by external factor, not from the inside, internally growing. If we see a small child, if we see the weight, 
after the birth, three to four kg hoga. But after 18 years, that weight of that small boy is 60, 40, 80 kg, and that is only because of intrinsic growth. From intrinsic growth, it is carried out to this place. Next definitive property of living is living organism is having a definite life span. So life span is present in living organism. Non-living organisms were not having any particular, not having a particular life span. I'm talking about birth and death period, which is present in living, but non-living may birth or death period nahi. Again, different definitive properties of living like homostatistis. Homostatistis means having a particular body temperature in living organism like isothermic, coccothermic, but non-living were not having any uh, temperature effect. Usko kuch temperature effect nahi hota hai, jaise ki iron. Usko kitna bhi heat karo, hum we can change their shape or structure. That is amorphous structure, not having a definite structure. Hum usko karte because of having only a temperature effect nahi hota. Uh, after that, we can mention the different properties of living like reproduction. Reproduction, you can say indefinite property because uh, sometimes like honeybee, measles or infantile or fistarite males and females, in that reproduction is upset. So, it, is it? It means they were not living? Yes, they were living but they will not form that process reproduction. Uh, few organisms we can say that they were not able to reproduce because of that we will not mention reproduction as a definitive property of living. Uh, again we can say that the cell division, yes cell division is a definitive property of living. So all living organisms having ability to divide, no? divide started by mitosis, by me meiosis, by a mitosis, but division is there. So cell division is again a definitive property. So like this we have to differentiate or simply we will distribute the difference in between living and non-living. Okay, this is for first lecture. Uh, I will again uh, put many videos on YouTube. If you like the video, press the like button or subscribe my channel for many videos. Thank you students.